Namaste programs, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and the Rove through South England and its bush trip continues with leg five today from Exeter to Bournemouth. Let's go. Let us get going, programs. Let us go. We want 88 degrees once we take off here at wherever I am, Exeter. Wherever we are. Got a bit of, of a crosswind. Struggling with it. Struggling. Strug plane plane, are you kidding me? <laughs> I just uh Okay, well, the less said about that the better. We are in the air, we are flying in the right direction. 88 degrees for three minutes twenty-one. East Devon National Landscape. Lift off from Exeter Airport and set a course to the east. Gain a visual on and then pass just to the north of a faraway common airfield. Continue to the east after passing the airfield and fly over East Devon National Landscape, notable for its stands of trees and coastal landscapes. Let's go. Well, according to the Googles, this is the East Devon National Landscape. Um, yeah, I guess it's the trees and the coast, apparently. All covered in farms, so it's not a uh, protectorate or anything. Protected National Park, it's just a... Uh, well, it's just a landscape. Here it is, it's beautiful. Very nice, very picturesque. Little river and everything. 92 degrees for 2 minutes 35 though. Charmouth. Continue on course to the east and pass over the hillside village of Charmouth. Located next to the river Char, Charmouth looks over Lime Bay of the English Channel. There we go. Charmouth just above the nose now. Very cute little town. And I guess that's the river chart just to its left there. Brilliant. No sign of sporting fields, as seems to be the case with these uh, seaside towns. There's the beach to go to. That's the beach. All right, 99 degrees for four minutes and nine seconds. Dorset National Landscape. Follow the A35 motorway to the east from Charmouth. Pass over the town of Bridport and then sight the town of Dorchester. Where am I flying? Just west of Dorchester, pass over Dorset National Landscape. The era, <clears throat> the era, the area protects rolling hills, coastal cliffs and beaches. Behold God's error. This is Dorchester just ahead of us. I don't see any mention of the Dorset National Landscape on Google, but what I do see is the Dorset Alpaca Walking Company. Also the Alpaca Cottage. So there's alpaca walkers in this, uh, <laughs> in this area. I love it. Yeah, I've heard of dog walkers, but alpaca walkers, brilliant. Is that a cricket pitch below the ring? The ring, the white ring. Release Wodja. And there's football stadiums over there, yes. We've got everything here at, at Dorchester. That's another cricket pitch over there. But alas, we must move on to 90 degrees for 3 minutes 34. Bovington Camp. Fly over Dorchester, then pass over the village of Moreton on the banks of the River Frome. Bovington Camp, a British army base, is located just to the east of Moreton across the River Frome.
Well, we haven't done anywhere near 3 minutes 34, but according to the Googles, just to the right now is Bovington Camp. Some kind of army base, apparently. I suppose they run through all of this uh, area and do mock war trials and shoot at each other. Looks pretty cool. You know what? Uh, where did... What's his name? GeoWizard, who does the straight line missions on YouTube. He did a straight line mission through England. It wasn't down here. He did it up near Scotland, I think. But he, he went through an army range without shooting at each other, and he's like, oh my god, I shouldn't be here. What an absolute mad lad. 87 degrees, 4 minutes, 18, though. Bournemouth. Uh, from Bovington Camp, site Pool Harbour and pass just to its north. Continue on course to reach Bournemouth, a resort town in the coast of the English Channel. Well, this massive expanse is Bournemouth, although actually where we're at now is Pool. I've never heard of Pool, but uh, P-O-L-E. They seem to be uh, two large cities just bolted onto one another. They both have large text on the Google Maps. Um, yeah, we haven't turned yet, but I'm pretty sure that's the airport over on the left there. So it's wanting me to do 22 degrees for 110 as the next thing that's not very quick so i will need to start lining myself up now rather than later so bournemouth from bournemouth turn to the northeast and pass over the river stour land at bournemouth airport egh located just to the northeast of the river Here we go. Now, one problem is I think we're a bit high, but maybe not. Another problem is it's a very short runway for an international runway, surely. It should be bigger than that. Maybe it's just the perspective right now. And thirdly, there's a plane landing on the other direction there. God dang. Fortunately, we phase through them because I ain't moving. This is my world. Here we go. Here we go. There is a bit of a crosswind. I should maybe... Is there a cross runway? That doesn't look like there is. There's some taxiways I could have used, I suppose. I don't think this is a player coming in. It's coming in too, uh, too smoothly. It's probably an actual... Uh, you know, AI of a real flight. Let's try and land... Carefully, get the brakes on. Come on, plane, what are you doing? There we go. What happened to the other plane? Disappeared. It disappeared. Oh, alien plane. Alien zombie ninja robot. Here we go. Will it register? We've arrived at Bournemouth. That was leg five, I believe, of the bush trip. One of the legs. Could have been four or five. One of them. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir. Goodbye.